Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christina. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the viral TikTok scam sensation on TikTok. That was viral and a scam and a sensation, at least in my opinion. I want to start to take a look at more TikTok content. I myself, I'm not really a user of TikTok and I'm also not that interested in TikTok, but it is a platform, social media outlet that lots of people are interested in. It has a rather young demographic. And what I realized was that lots of scams, lots of attention that was once focused on other topics, on other outlets like YouTube or Instagram, they now started to venture over into TikTok. And not just scams. The beauty industry on YouTube was dead for the longest part and then got revived on TikTok in a different way, in a different form, and brought out new beauty TikTokers who then also went the same route, the original YouTube gurus, the YouTube beauty gurus did. And the same, in my opinion, is true for scams. Wherever there's a popular platform, wherever there's money to be made, wherever there are impressionable people, wherever there is eyes on content or on products, scams will arise as well. And I want to start to talk more about those that I have seen on TikTok. I also have a TikTok account. It is always linked in the description box below. I don't ever post there. It is really just for research reasons. But if you ever want to tag me in something because you're interested in a specific topic there, then please feel free to do that. And today I want to look at the TikTok viral makeup trend connected to a multi-level marketing company, Saint Beauty. Saint Beauty is a multi-level marketing company that sells makeup. There's compacts, you have little pieces of makeup that you can build yourself, and then you are supposed to do your makeup very, very quickly. You might have seen weird pictures or weird videos of people who are painting their face with a lot of makeup, and then they're blending it out, and it's supposed to be the best makeup on planet Earth, and you're even able to make money if you want to sell those products. Saint Beauty is a multi-level marketing company, and in my opinion, multi-level marketing companies are scams. TikTok MLMs are not allowed to shill their products or to push the business opportunity, but TikTok is not doing a good job at stopping this. And Saint Beauty is a great example because there are predominantly Caucasian women on this app that are painting their faces with this great makeup and they're trying to push the opportunity and also the products on its followers. You might have seen videos and TikToks like this. I'm going to show you a couple of examples and then we're going to talk about the makeup, about the application, the actual products and also the business opportunity attached to this. an example of a post about the palette that everybody is talking about, or rather the cream-based makeup products that people are talking about. And then we have somebody who does an easy looking look with four colors and is asking the people to contact them for more information. There are a good amount of comments in this person comment section asking for the link or to get color matched by this individual or to get more information on the products. The person typically says DM me or we will have the conversation elsewhere. Somebody asked, sent me the link there. Somebody else commented after using overpriced. The person answered, you seem to be angry about Saint. Hmm. Is there a Saint TikTok or do you sell this for them? What if you had wrinkles? It is really messy to deal with. It is not, not any messier than normal makeup. And somebody complains that they don't ship internationally because the company, well, actually they do, but Saint Beauty is only available in the United States and Canada. 
and they are not selling at the moment in other countries. So there's somebody posting on their TikTok talking about this makeup, talking about getting color matched. You have to DM them for more information. And I would argue that just by these posts that I've shown you, you can tell that there is something off. This is somebody who is an independent consultant for the multi-level marketing company Saint Beauty. And what we see, unfortunately, a lot is unprofessional feedback to criticism by boss babes and CEOs of their own small businesses. They're not. They're independently contracted salespeople, but you might hear consultants say that they're exactly that. The CEOs of their own small businesses. But then I would argue if you were actually running your own business, you would try to be more professional in the comments and not try to ridicule people who say, I used this product, I didn't like it. Or you have to have perfect skin, what about wrinkles? And give some actual feedback on how to help these people out. People have bad experience with this makeup and think it is overpriced. To ask them, mm, you got burned by Saint Beauty, huh? That is not a very professional reply, but rather reach out to these people and say, please contact me, let me know how I can help you to make these products work better. But no, no. So you can tell that there is something off, I would say, because that is what I would describe as unprofessional business behavior and unprofessional responses. If people were in my comment section of my own small business that I allegedly run and I want to sell them products, they're not happy with it, I would reach out to them and try to help them with those products. That would be a professional approach. Let's take a look at another TikTok where somebody shows us how they built this palette. In the first example, we had four pans for the face, and now this person is going to show us more. Just got my brand new beautiful palette in, and so let's build it together and let me show you what I put in it. So first, I'm gonna start with my brightening highlight or concealer shade. Next, I'm adding my main highlight shade, which is like your foundation color. Now I'm gonna add my contour. Those are my three colors that make up my 3D foundation. And now I'm adding my three current lip and cheek colors, Sandstone, this one is Renaissance, and this one's Love Spell. So I have those, those are the ones I'm currently wearing the most often. Now I'm gonna add my bronzer, I love this bronzer by the way, and my current favorite Illuminator, Angel. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add my setting powder right there. And this is everything for my face. On the bottom layer, I'll just fill it with eyeshadow. Make sure you follow for part two and I'll put all these colors on. These were nine products. These were nine pans that she added to her palette. And the text says, okay, can we talk about how gorgeous the new palettes are? If you're interested in trying Saint makeup, I can color match you. Just go to color match, blah, 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 or comment match. How gorgeous the new palettes are. Maybe she's talking just about the palettes. The products looked like they were new as well. But I have to say quality wise, I would have some questions and I would have some issues because a lot of these don't look even. They look dried out in some spots or deeper in others. And they don't look like they have an even quality throughout the pants. You could see that specifically with two products. Those are creamy products. Those were concealers, those were highlighters, bronzers, blushes, lip and cheek products that you added there. And they didn't look that good. That is typically what old makeup looks if they have dry spots in some and deeper spots in other areas. It could be that it's a production issue. It could be that you need to mix them in the pan, but that already doesn't look good. But those are the palettes that we're talking about. And now we're taking a look at another video where somebody will show us how you can create an easy three minute look with these products for women with more mature skin. As a woman with more mature skin, this is something that would be appealing to me. So let's see what these creamy products can do. I'm gonna do this makeup look in three minutes using this one palette and I'm gonna answer this question. Okay, so first off, you get this palette in the link in my bio. It is on lovealwayslaura.com. So if you aren't following me, just tap my profile picture and click the little follow button to follow my account. And in the link in my bio is my website, which is lovealwayslaura.com, and that is where you will find these palettes. Second, what is this palette? So this palette is literally your entire makeup bag. Your foundation, concealer, color correctors, contour, which I just put on my face, if you've never contoured before, it's amazing. Um, bronzer, your illuminators are in here, your blush, your lipstick, your eyeshadows in the back, like literally, everything you need for your entire face in one spot. 
And the cool thing about it is you're actually doing your makeup in one layer. So my contour has coverage. It didn't need my foundation to go all over my face because my contour has coverage. And now I'm just going in with a brighter color around my eyes, just as you would a concealer. Okay, now I know I look crazy, but trust me when I say it blends so easily, it's cream makeup. So you're just gonna blend out any harsh lines and it's gonna look amazing. Popping on a little bit of bronzer onto the high points of your face just to add warmth where the sun would naturally hit. Picking one of the many lip and cheek colors for your blush. And you can also wear them as your lipstick. Adding a little bit of illuminator to the high points of your face just to catch that little extra glow and shimmer. And then I need to do something about these brows, so I'm just gonna fill them in using my same contour color that I used to sculpt my face. And there we have it, the finished look. I only used six tins from this all-in-one customizable makeup palette. When I say it's customizable, it's because all of the tins pop out. You get to pick what tins uh, you want in your palette. If you do want a free color match, I'd be happy to tell you what your skin tone specific colors are, like your foundation, contour, bronzer, etc. And then you get to pick the rest. You get to pick your lip and cheeks, your eyeshadows, and you can build one as big or as little as you want. Everything is on lovealwayslaura.com or just go to the link in my bio, the top of my handle, and you will find it there. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Bye guys. The hashtags are easy makeup routine, easy makeup tip, simple makeup routine, saint beauty, cream makeup palette, and some more. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look super easy. It looks like, first of all, a lot of makeup that she put on her face, lots of blending with what looked like a heavy hand. It looked like she really had to work. And I don't want to be mean, but in my opinion, the result is not that great. Maybe because of the product, maybe because of her blending techniques. Maybe it's because she put all of these products on her face at once, but it looked very, very heavy. The colors don't match that well, in my opinion. It looked like the makeup was very heavy under her eyes, and that is what happens when you're not in your 20s anymore. I have wrinkles under my eyes. I do believe that I age quite well for my age, but if I were to put heavy cream under my eyes, then you would see the bulk as well, and they would also easily crease into the wrinkles. I didn't see that there is a lot of wrinklage under her eye. I'm pointing this out to show the application of the makeup and why I believe it's not that great of a makeup. It looked very heavy under the eyes and also too light for the rest. If you go too light under the eyes, if you want to highlight there or if you want to use concealer, you need to go a little bit lighter than your actual makeup. But if you go too light, it can look very ghostly. There was too much bulkage, too much product under the eyes. It was also not blended that well on the cheek area, which is, in my opinion, no wonder with so much product and so much product built over her upper lip as well. So it looks to me that this is a cream makeup that is actually not that easy to blend and it's not that easy to color match necessarily. Not every more mature woman, somebody who's not in their 20s or not in their 30s anymore, can wear layers on her eyes or under her eyes. I have mature skin. I have what I would say good skin and I was genetically always very blessed. This is all thanks to my mother. My sister has the same experience as me. My sister is older than me. She aged well and I'm not somebody who drinks a lot. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life and I don't do drugs. That of course is also very helpful and I stay hydrated. I would look weird with all of that makeup on my face as well and specifically my under eyes are extremely dry. I think you can tell it when I'm smiling, especially when I get tired, they get more and more dry. And if I use makeup, I don't use a lot of face makeup. I have a little teeny tiny bit of concealer under my eyes and I try to keep it light. That is my experience when it comes to maturing with skin that ages naturally. This doesn't look like it's the greatest makeup on planet Earth and it doesn't look easy. And once again, I'm not pointing this out to make her look bad or to be mean. She's a very attractive woman. All of these women are attractive women, but the makeup, the end result, in my opinion, doesn't look good. Let's take a look at 
another TikTok that shows me yet again that it is obviously not that easy to blend all of those creamy piles of makeup when it's an attractive woman who uses this product and cannot make it work. Maybe it's because they're having a hard time to blend because the products are actually not that great or they need to blend longer and it doesn't fit into the TikTok rhythm, that could very well be. Or maybe you need to use additional products, as we will see in the next TikTok, a face spray so that you can blend this out easier. You have been living under a rock if you haven't seen this makeup all over your feeds yet, whether it be here or other social media platforms, it is everywhere and for a good reason. It's a product that lives up to the hype, um, but I wanted to show you today without any editing. So this has no filters, obviously, um, and no editing whatsoever. A lot of times I have to speed up the blend just to make it into that three minute mark. But today I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is with absolutely zero editing whatsoever. So what I've done here, I've applied a foundation color. That's the darker yellow color, a brightening highlight that's under my eyes and then down the center of my face. Then I've got some bronzer on the tops of my forehead there and tops of my cheekbones. I have a lip and cheek on my cheeks and my lips, and then I've got a cream contour on my cheekbones, my nose, and at the very top of my forehead there. Now I sprayed some setting spray on the face to make it easier to blend. I'm taking this double-ended fluffy brush and just blending those colors together. I always start from the lightest colors to the darkest colors just to avoid any muddiness. But because you're applying this makeup all in one even layer, you are avoiding any cakiness. You don't get a thick, crazy coat of makeup. You still see your freckles and your pores and you still look like you, but just a little bit fresher. Maybe like you had a little bit more sleep than you did. And it is so easy. Basically, our job as a saint artist is to tell you exactly what colors you are and where to put them and how to use this makeup properly. This is great for 30 plus people. Yes, I have customers under that age category, but I have a ton of customers more in the 40s, 50s, 60s zone because our skin is a little different when we hit that 40 mark. I'm just finishing off with a little bit of illuminator here. This is totally optional. If you don't love that glowy look, you can totally skip this and just leave it. I like it at the top of my cheekbones here my nose and just my cupid's bow and that's about it you guys look how easy that is it looks fresh and dewy and so nice for summer comment below if you would like a custom color match for a saint palette it looks heavy it doesn't look fresh it doesn't look summery to me maybe it's me i'm just not very fond of face makeup in general or wearing a lot of makeup but this would be a full face of makeup for me to go out on a very special night and not something I would just wear because it's summertime. No, Saint distributors, they call themselves artists and their ranks are also called artists. Since everybody can join Saint Beauty who lives in the United States and in Canada and they're 18 years and older, you don't need professional makeup skills to show these products and to try and sell them. And I would argue it shows. I would not want to be color matched by someone who cannot color match themselves. Digitally, that's how it typically happens. It's also hard to do that. Ideally, you would go into a store, you would try out the makeup, you would step into daylight and you would see what matches best. And ideally, you also have somebody who is a professional in this field who can assist you while you're there. So to do this digitally via apps, via call, that must be even more difficult than actually getting that right in person. This look, I'm not pointing this out to be mean. This is an attractive woman. All of these women are attractive women without makeup, but with makeup, this looks heavy. It doesn't look well blended. It was better than the one before, yes, but it looks muddy. The, in the cheeky area, for example, it looks a little bit swampy with all of the all of the different products although she blended them out from the lightest to the deepest color which is how you do it but it still looked muddy the nose contour also looked very heavy in my opinion it looks like a different color on her nose than is on her face and there's also build up under her eyes i'm showing this to show and to comment on people who call themselves artists because that is a rank in the mlm they are who want to sell us cream makeup with an easy three minute makeup routine out of one palette with end results that don't look good 
This looks like it's really hard to blend, whether you use face spray, or setting spray or not. It looks better than the version before, so I guess it is helpful to use facial spray. I also like to do that because I also have dry skin and there it's quite helpful. It is so hard to blend this shit out. And if you have to pretend that it goes so easily within three minutes, maybe that's the end result you're stuck with, but that's so hard to do. If you are on TikTok and you want to sell me this makeup sensation, blend the stuff out in a short period of time and you cannot make this look good, then I don't trust that you can provide me with the info I need to use this myself. Because this is advertised, as we heard here, to people with mature skin. Or what about people who are beginners who might need some more help on the techniques and how to use these products as well. And this is somebody who's supposed to teach me. The product these people use, I would say, is a lot of makeup. It's a lot of product. You have foundation, contour, bronzer, blush, concealer, highlighter. You slap it all on your face. And I think that's the main reason why this went viral. It's also something we've seen on YouTube years ago that people will just plaster their faces, will look like clowns because they already distribute all of the makeup they want to blend out. And then they start to blend this out. It looks good on TikTok, and I guess that's why it goes viral. But it is obviously not that easy to actually make this start, this clownish looking, plastering your face with makeup from the get-go and then blending it out. For an allegedly everyday makeup look, it is not that easy. Let's take a look at another video from somebody who's also a saint artist, and this person is a bit younger. So let's see if she has a different approach to this. Let's do our makeup, shall we? I'm gonna just throw it all on today and blend it out because I am in a smidge of a rush. So I'm just gonna go in with my contour. Um, what is that? Hair stuck in my contour, that's fine. Um, Okay, contour, wipe whatever's rest left on my hand, and then I'm gonna go into my concealer color. This is the shade Palace. I really like it. It has like a pink little undertone to it. It's nice, because it cancels out some of those dark under eye bags I am currently struggling with. And then I'm gonna go into my foundation color. This is the shade, I don't know, I think it's hazel. I'm just gonna spot this all on. Then I'm gonna throw on a bit of bronzer. This is the shade High Tides, kind of right underneath and over top my contour. And then just a little bit of blush. This is the shade Sandstone. Like I said, guys, we are throwing it all on today. For my lips, I'm just gonna throw the color Black Cherry on. That looks dark, don't worry. Looks a little chaotic, don't even worry. This makeup, I tell you guys all the time, but if anyone new, new is here, hi, welcome. My name is Alicia. I love to share about makeup I love. I've been using this makeup for a while. It's called Saint Makeup. It's a super handy dandy little cute palette with all your makeup in one little compact. If you want to know more information or anything, just comment match or like, hey, send me more information and I'll totally just direct you to my profile. It has the palettes on there and I can also do a color match for you so I can be like okay this is what you need right here okay um let's blend I'm gonna go in with the 3d brush and I'm just gonna start with the kind of lighter colors and we're just gonna stipple this into place and we're just gonna start tapping and blending from light to dark and trust me, I know this looks chaotic. This is going to work out. This is a trust the process kind of makeup. It's also easy girl makeup. I'm also running out of time, so I head to part two and I'll show you the finished result. I hate to do that, but like I talk too much and I'm running out of time. So part two, two. So far, all of these women have used a lot of product. They all had a palette with three layers with different types of concealers, of foundation, of contour, of bronzer, of highlighter, of cheek and lip colors, different types and different shades of that product, three layers deep. And then also at the bottom, it looked like it was eyeshadows. We haven't seen those so far, but it looks like it's a lot of product. And just slap all of that on your face and then blend it out to the degree that it doesn't even fit into one TikTok. Doesn't sound like easy makeup to me. And she's also putting a lot of product on her face. Welcome to part two, we're blending out our makeup and you might be looking at this thinking there's no way this girl's makeup's gonna work out. Um, this looks like a chaotic mess, but I'm here to tell you, this is gonna work out my friends. 
and it's just how this makeup works. It's just really easy. It's really forgiving. It's honestly just really fail proof. Okay, I promise you. So now that I've kind of got my foundation blend out, I'm just gonna use the same brush here and we're just gonna blend all these dark colors out. Really easy, really simple. I know it looks intimidating, but these dark colors just give our face so much more dimension and shape. It's now for the scary part, the cheeks. This is where the haters will say it's fake, but I promise you this is gonna work out, okay? I literally promise. So you just kind of start stippling, keep the makeup where you applied it, and we're just gonna work this in. This cream makeup just blends into your skin literally like butter. It's, I don't know, magic, maybe, but just works. I just love this makeup because it's quick and easy and I don't have time for anything else, quite honestly. Like honestly, tell me what other makeup you can throw literally every single one of your colors on at once, blend it out and be done for the day. You have like five minute makeup and it's all in one handy little compact. Like honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like this is the literally the easiest makeup for like busy women who just need something that's fast, effective, affordable, and like convenient. Like. I literally took makeup out of one compact, put it all on my face, blended it all out, like real time with you guys, less than five minutes, and like my makeup is done for the day. My eyebrows are not matching up today. That's okay. That's it. That's all my friends. I could throw on some eyeshadow, but I don't think I need any today. We're just going for like a really easy natural look. But would you believe me if I told you you could throw all your makeup on at once from one little compact? Well, I just showed you, so hopefully you do believe me. But dang, I, it's the easiest freaking makeup out there. Just comment match if you want me to send you the info. Um, and I hope you guys all have a really good day. Another version of an easy makeup with a lot of product, but the end result does look better. On the cheeks, it looked really, really scary. Maybe she's better at blending the product out. Maybe she used less than others. But from what I can tell, this is not an easy makeup. And if you have to use a lot of product, this is going to be really, really pricey. These are really small pans. It is hard to get into these. And you just have the face products that she's used there. She also has eyeshadow. We have not seen anybody do eyeshadow. But if you buy Saint Makeup, not every product that you might want for an everyday makeup routine is included there like a face spray, which can be helpful. You need to get the brushes as well. You need to get eyebrow products if you don't want to use an eyeshadow. I'm personally not a fan of using eyeshadow. We're also missing powders. I myself have dry skin. I do not need to use a lot of powder or a product to set the creamy foundation. But if this is supposed to last for a day or if you have more oily or normal skin, you also might want to use a powder. This is just the face makeup and then the other palette and the other slide, she has the eye makeup. It looks better on her, but it doesn't look easy. And this was advertised as a makeup for beginners. I think it is rather hard that you plaster your face with all of this makeup and then you start to blend out the lighter parts and then the deeper parts when we see that it wasn't that easy for a lot of the other people to blend it out. I think you do need practice. It is easier to really start with very little makeup if you're a beginner or also if you have mature skin and to use as little product as necessary. I, for example, don't like to use face up makeup in my everyday life. What I do is I will occasionally cover up a pimple. That's about it. I will slap on mascara, shape my eyebrows, and I'm good to go for the day. But if you like to wear foundation, you can use great products that are available on the market. I find it rather unpractical to have these big bulky palettes. Also, when you're traveling at home, I do not mind. I don't care at all. I have enough space and enough storage to play with the products, with the makeup products I want. And when I travel, I just travel with a very minimum amount. I'm not taking eyeshadow with me. I have the very basic things with me and I will try to utilize the products I already have. Creamy products can be really, really great if you are older or if you have a more mature skin because they don't necessarily settle like powder. But if you use a lot of that product, they will settle in fine lines and in wrinkles as well. These are the products. And I say you can judge for yourself if you believe that these might be worth the investment or not. I believe they're not. And I believe they're just there for show so that you can 
sit in front of a camera with a face plastered with makeup and then you blend it out. It looks good, but it doesn't need to be practical. These products and the way to apply these, they might have had their viral moment, but not necessarily because they were great products. But let's take a look at the artist program behind this. The artist program allows people to make money by selling the products. That is what these people claim. You can reach out to these people buy product from them, get color matched and get some information how they would suggest you use the product, but you can also join their team and that way you can also promote and sell the products. If you love makeup and want to earn a little extra cash, I have just the thing for you. Saints Artist Program is perfect for busy moms, students, um, working moms. It's perfect for anyone of any background to earn you a little extra money as a little fun side hustle. So you can earn commission based off of your sales starting at 20% and going all the way up to 40%, which is amazing. You never have to have inventory. You're never working alone. We have an amazing team that helps us with graphics, sales, all that good stuff. Our team's just so great. We also get monthly bonuses. So here's my monthly bonus that I just got today because we get those once a month on the 10th. So here's that. There's also rewards trips. To, um, they're going to Cancun this year. Um, there are reunions. There's free makeup challenges, sales challenges. Our summer sales club is amazing. I'm hoping to get that. Getting started is super easy. And I love the fact that you're not wasting money when you sign up. You're just not giving money away. You're actually getting product when you sign up to be an artist. So when you say, yes, I'm so totally down. Um, I'm ready to start and become an artist. You will get to pick your kit. So um, we have three different options. We have some that are budget friendly and that are super amazing just to get you started. So if you're interested in earning free makeup and starting your own business to be your own boss and work when you want to and where you want to and get to play with the best makeup ever, um, send me a comment below and I will help get you started. This sounds like your typical predatory MLM pitch to me. Make money as a busy mom, as a student, or as a side hustle, which is false. According to the FTC, most people who join multi-level marketing companies, they lose money. So it's not a good income, whether you're a busy mom or a student. And it's also not a good side hustle if most people lose money. In that case, it is called a hobby. If you want this to be a little bit more than that, you, the likelihood of you succeeding in an MLM and insane beauty are slim to none. In MLMs, that can get pricey really, really quickly because you will be required to purchase a lot of product for various reasons. Either because the compensation plan that shows you how you can make money in the company makes you buy a lot of product or because you need to purchase the product to then use them and show them on your social media because how else can you sell the product? And that can get pricey really, really quickly. It sounds so easy, does it not? Yeah, because it is not. You're not supposed to hold inventory, yes, but we have seen the palettes these people have used with a lot of those product slides. Three levels deep, lots of products, although you don't need to hold inventory, but you can purchase via the website. So it seems to be that that is kind of a minimum requirement if you want to be on your social media, you do your makeup and you film yourself while doing this and then you upload to TikTok or Instagram or to YouTube. Even though there might not be any requirement for you to hold inventory, you will end up with a lot of product, as is typical for MLM. The bonuses she spoke about and she showed us also that she's making money. Trust me, it's legitimate. Here is my example. I'm making money. I'm not lying. This is proof. The monthly bonuses are typically mostly recruitment based. In the example of this last TikTok that she showed us to prove that this is a totally legitimate business, it also doesn't look like it was that much. It looks like this could only be two or three digits. It just doesn't look like there's a lot of space there that she covers up. The more people you recruit into an MLM, the more profitable it might be for you. In Saint, for example, you receive level bonuses off of the efforts of your team and also enroller bonuses. And then the small bonuses, the sales bonuses are the ones that you get 
regularly every Friday. Those are smaller checks typically because they are more depending on your sales rather than your team's efforts. But you only participate if you pay your way into the company. I think that is very important to mention as well, since this is a multi-level marketing company. And you do this by purchasing a starter kit. We've seen this here as well. There are hardly any products in the $99 one. A lot of multi-level marketing companies have the requirement to offer a buy-in option, as in you purchasing the products or a starter kit under $100. And there is not a lot of product in here. You have the palette, you have a brush, a perfecter, a brush cleaner. If you really want to do your makeup and you want to try out the makeup, you will have to purchase the bigger pack. Likely, you will have to purchase the $225 one or the $450, but at least the $225 one if you want to have some product on hand as well. And I'm assuming that most people will not start with a $99 one because of a lack of actual makeup. In that case, you have spent at least $225 to join Saint. In addition to this starter cost, you also have a monthly back office fee of $12.95. So it adds up already in the beginning, even though you don't have to hold inventory. The way you can make money in Saint Beauty is if you're able to sell product. 20% commission if you're able to hit higher commission volume according to the Saint compensation plan, it could go up to 40%. But in that case, you have to be able to sell a certain amount of product per month. Otherwise, you will only receive the lower percentage, like the 20% commission. But you could work your way up to 40%. And Saint Beauty also advertises the business opportunity as an opportunity where you can make commission on your sales. Or you can make even more commission on your sales if you're able to sell more per month or earn even more if you build a team. Have a friend, a family member, or a customer who also loves to share the genius that is mascara makeup. That is how Saint Beauty was called before. Join forces and you can earn even more together. Building a team is extra responsibility. You need to make sure that your team is happy, understands what they're doing, is successful and has the support system they need. For taking on the extra responsibility, mascara compensates you even more. That is typical for MLMs as well. If you want to be successful in a multi-level marketing company, you should join early. Timing is important. If you have a big following, that makes it a lot easier because you will have to build a big team. Because team building and all of the activities around that, aka recruiting, is being compensated better. If you're able to participate in your team's sales and purchases, you will make more money than just you selling the products to customers. Saint Beauty, the viral TikTok trend, is something that looks good in a video on a TikTok. Plaster your face with a lot of makeup, you blend it out and tell everybody that the makeup now looks great. Visually, that is very interesting, but there is actually a very sinister and dangerous, financially dangerous business model attached. If you join this company, the likelihood of you making money are slim to none. Compensation plans show us what you have to do to make money in those companies, and typically you will be rewarded better if you're able to build a big enough team you won't be rewarded that well if you're only able to sell a couple of products here or there. Yet people on their social media will promise you that you will be able to make a good amount of money as a side hustle if you just sell the products, which is simply false. The likelihood of humans in multi-level marketing companies to make a profit are slim to none. MLMs that have income disclosure statements available show us that as well. Unfortunately, there is none for Saint Beauty that I could find online, but all of the income disclosure statements available online show us the same story. Most people are at the lowest rank where they make hardly any money, least of all profit. And when it comes to the actual product, they don't look that exciting and that promising to me. I wouldn't want to use them. I find the technique very difficult. You need to work with those little pans. You need to blend them out a good bit. And a lot of these people haven't done a great job doesn't look like it's that easy to work with them. The end results for most part looked rather weird than not. And in the end, if you want to change your features and if you would like to look yourself more presentable by applying makeup, if that is up your alley, then I would argue you can just go to the drugstore and get good products. Use little, learn how to do this, look what works for you and don't invest hundreds of dollars into a saint makeup beauty palette that might be highly overrated 
just because it's a viral trend on TikTok with a predatory business model attached to it. It might surprise you, but it's a no for me, Saint Beauty. I've covered the company before because of other videos that I found, because of Instagram posts and also because of YouTube videos I've seen. And the same is true for the TikTok trends. TikTok does repeat a lot of things we have seen years ago on other social media, including scams. And in my opinion, this is a big, big scam. The business model is for sure. And like I said, the products, I don't think they're that great. I personally would stay away from them. I will be covering more TikTok scams in the future connected to multi-level marketing companies, but also to scams in general. So if you're interested in this, then please stay tuned for upcoming videos. If you like these types of videos, then please consider subscribing. If you like this specific one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to let me know something, feel free to do that in the comment section down below. And if you like these types of videos, then hopefully I will see you in my next one. Until then, cheers!